Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Brown Motorsports. Uh, so this is just an intro to the video, my first video. So I procrastinated in my first video I filmed a year ago, and then I never did make the channel. And then I finally made the channel three days ago, so here it is. Hey guys, down here working on my 2014 Jeep Wrangler. Uh, I've had a misfire for a while uh, due to lack of compression. I was thinking maybe a valve seat was leaking, but I'm starting to think maybe it's something else. So I'm gonna run a, a compression leak down test. I've ran a compression test and it only came out to like 30 pounds. So I don't know. We're gonna try to see if maybe it's just a valve train issue. Maybe it's not opening the valve all the way, but I've already started. I've already got the coil off and uh, the plug loose, so kind of forgot to start recording. So we're gonna, just going to take off from here. Okay, well, the air compressor kicked on, so I went ahead and set this all up. And yeah, it's leaking down pretty bad. And it's coming out the exhaust. You can hear it hissing. I've cracked it over several times, and I don't know if you guys will be able to hear that. But, well, it looks like my original idea of what was wrong was right. So I got a leaking valve. I was hoping to be able to just change the lash adjusters and, or a rocker, but that's, it's not looking like that's the problem, so... Done working on this? Well, other than I gotta put this back together, but I'm not gonna work on this anymore. It's gonna need a whole new cylinder head, most likely. So I'm just gonna throw it back together, run it for another couple years, I guess. Okay, so since uh, I'm not going to put new uh, valve adjusters and uh, rockers on my 2014, that's what, I was, uh, that's what I was planning on doing today, I went and got my 1978 CJ7, and while I was recording that, me go, going and getting it, I realized I was recording the wrong way. So the first half of this video is going to be all in the wrong way. 
I'm kind of new to YouTube, so this is going to be my first video. Uh, we'll figure it out. I got to... This thing's got a really bad exhaust leak. I'm not sure if it's the exhaust manifold going to the head or the exhaust going to, to the exhaust manifold. But I'm going to go ahead and rip it off, and I'm going to go ahead and rebuild this carburetor while I have it off. Because it's, uh, as you've seen in the video, well, I guess you couldn't really see it. You can see the tail, tail of my Jeep, but that's about it. But it died. And then it died trying to get into the garage, so... I'm going to go ahead and rebuild it because it's got some problems. But we'll see how that goes. Well, I got the exhaust and the intake off. Definitely found my tick. Exhaust, yeah, it's, it's just gone. I guess there's a hole right there, right in the intake passage too. So that was definitely the tick that I was hearing while I was running. So it probably wasn't helping it run either. And I get this thing tore apart and put the new gasket between the intake and the exhaust. Might try to block that off to where there's no way for it to. I'm not sure how all that works. Never been into one of these, so 
We're gonna take her apart and get into it. So I got the all the exa exhaust gaskets taken out, and that was <laughs> definitely why it was running rough. Because here's one intake runner crack. That one's completely separated, and that one's completely separated. So three out of the six intake runners had leaks, so that would probably be my problem. All right, so this manifold's, it's got some problems. It's cracked and it's not sure what's going on there. It's not really rust, it's just, I don't know if it's got hot and cracked or what, but I broke one bolt off and one of the bolts was already broke off prior. Not, I didn't do that, but so I counter kind of spot drilled them and I'm gonna run a smaller drill through them and try to use an extractor all right I'm back down here I had to cool off a little bit went and got something to eat with my parents but uh so I was putting that man the manifolds back together and uh they slipped out of the vise and they busted both both the outside exhaust uh runners off of the exhaust side So, I gotta go pull, I got a header on a 3.8 AMC, I'm gonna just go grab it, it's on a 73 CJ, CJ5, I'm gonna pull it off and I'm gonna run it instead. Wasn't wanting to pull it off, but it's the only other thing I have that'll fit this Jeep, so I'm gonna have to do it. Now that we got some daylight going on, go ahead and pull this header and the intake manifold off. Get to it. Alright, so I got them loose from the head, both intake and exhaust. And then I realized that uh, the headers go around the motor mount, but they do split. So I'm going to have to take the Y pipe off to get these headers out of here. So that's what I'm going to do now. All right, so we got her off. I'm just gonna clean up. I was originally planning on putting a manifold on this and putting a turbo on it, but I think I have a better idea. I got this XJ, runs and drives, but it, it's got a lot of rust on it. I might just pull the drivetrain out of that and put it in this. Make me a little beater. This thing's got a little bit of a lift to it. I think that'll be should be what I do. And just get rid of that body. There's not. It's got quite a bit of rust on it. So, well, that's what I think my plans are for this. We'll see. Plants change. But for now, I'm going to go put these on. And I'll clean them up anyways. Work on putting them on. So, I'll do that. Alright. So, I got the uh, 
head all cleaned up. I got the headers, they're clean. And I got all the surfaces on this manifold cleaned. But, spins it, this hit the ground. It mashed that in. It'll probably seal, but I'm just gonna build a block off plate with this. I got the seal to come off pretty clean. The edges are a little messed up, but go ahead and trace this on there and you're making me a block off plate. All right, so got my block off plate made. Just gotta go punch some holes in it. We're gonna go do that. We are getting somewhere. Got the header, they're not tightened, but I got it sitting in there. Got the gaskets on the studs. I'm gonna put the intake in. Here we go. Intake's in. Now just time to torque everything. All right, so we got them in. Got them all torqued down. Now I just gotta put the uh, throttle bracket on and rebuild the carburetor and put it on. Then we're test firing this thing. And another thing, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but I built this ignition system. It's a coil out of a 98 Jeep Cherokee and a ignition module out of a like an HEI, like a Chevy HEI. And she runs. And I got a little kill switch. So if I'm up here working on something and something happens, I can just kill it. So did that so I could get rid of this ancient thing. This old ignition module. Okay, so well we got it. <clears throat> got it all together. Got everything hooked up, got the battery on, filled the bowl. Got my gas tank going. Might burn this thing down, who knows. But we'll try it. See if she starts. Well, if I had a key. Never mind, I lied. Might have to go get the key. Alright, so, got the key. Now let's try this. It's a little tight in here. I need to move the seat. Alright. She fired her right up. All right, let's take the, take this thing for a rip. The latch don't work very well, so I just gotta hold it in with my arm. It'll work. Have you made it through the video this far? I don't know. It's probably boring to most people. I don't know. Just had an idea and I started filming. But, uh... So, what's changed with the Wrangler? The Wrangler 
is currently sitting in front of me behind the camera. You probably seen it. You're going to see it in the next video. Just clips of it. It won't be the whole Wrangler. I'm working on something else on the next video. But the Wrangler is currently getting an LS swap in it. It's got the L it's sitting in it right now, but it's not finished. So hopefully I'll start doing videos on finishing it up. And uh, the CJ, it the only thing that's really changed is I took the top off of it for summer and I painted it. Uh, just rattle canned it metallic blue which was close to the original color I don't know I just wanted to see how it was going to look before I it's, it needs a lot of body work it's got a lot of rust basically everything from the firewall back needs to replace the frame needs to replace so I have the material I've had the material to build a frame for a while so you'll probably see that you'll probably see that on here me building the frame I'm not sure how how much more of the the time lapse stuff I'm gonna do. I don't know. I don't know if people like that kind of stuff or not. So kind of just see mix everything up. I do different stuff. Just kind of change everything up. See what people like. I don't know. But that's about about it for them. So thanks for watching.